Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for you. We're diving into how to create an SSH SSL's TLS Stunnel server payload and set it up on the Netmod VPN app. This setup ensures faster speeds and a more secure web connection. For more VPN updates and hidden tricks, be sure to visit our blog. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. First, Let's create an SSH TLS server account. Open any web browser on your device. In the search bar, type UDP Custom and hit Enter. From the search results, click on the official UDP Custom website. Once you're on the homepage, locate the menu icon, often represented by three horizontal lines, the hamburger icon, in the top corner. Click on it to reveal a list of options. From these, select SSH Server. Next, click SSH Stunnel Server. This action will redirect you to the account creation page. Enter a username, solve the CAPTCHA, and click Create Now. Within moments, your server details will be displayed on the screen. Make sure to note down these details for later use. Now let's move on to setting up the Netmod VPN app. Open the Google Play Store on your device and search for Netmod VPN. Once you find it, click Install to download it. After installation, click Open to launch the app. On the app's home screen, tap the hamburger icon in the upper left corner to expand the menu. From the list, select the plug-in option and choose the SSH mode radio button. This will open a new interface on the app's homepage. Here, paste a valid payload into the payload box if available. Below, enter a valid SNI or the host of your SSH server. Then, check the boxes for SSH and SSL. Go back to the hamburger menu and select SSH profile. A new screen with an empty profile will appear. Tap the small page icon at the top with a plus sign to open a pop-up window. Now, enter the details from the server you created earlier. In the Remarks section, add a name for your profile. Paste the host IP. If using both SSH and SSL simultaneously, use port 443. Enter the username and password in their respective fields. Once you've filled in all the fields correctly, click Add to save the profile. Now, go back to the app's home screen. At the bottom, click the Play button to connect to the secure web connection. If all the details were entered correctly, you'll successfully connect to your SS8 SSL TLS server on the Netmod VPN app. And there you have it. We've successfully created and connected an SSH SSL TLS server on the Netmod VPN app. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.